This customer's blower is locked up. But can we fix it? Yes, we can. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. I hope everybody's having a great week. Yes, I have been gone for a little bit, but I have been super crazy busy and nothing really video worthy has crossed my bench lately. So I had a customer bring in their blower that he thought was locked up and initially I thought was locked up too, but I'm gonna show you what is an extremely common problem with these blowers so you can fix it all by yourself to save you time, money, and frustration in the future. Now I work on a lot of these blowers with hundreds of two cycles that come across my bench every single year. This is one of the top blowers that I see. And the number one reason that they come in and they feel like they're locked up most of the time is because I don't know what it is. If I got any steel guys out there, please chime in. I would love to know why this happens, but sometimes their carburetor just gives out. The needle will not shut the gas off. I have no idea. Everything looks fine. You can replace just the needle. It still seems like it doesn't work. I put kits in them. I've just had to replace the carburetors because what will happen, the way it sits, the carburetor is a little bit higher than the cylinder and the exhaust. So it will let gas just flood through the carburetor. And if your piston is at a certain level, it's going to flood inside your cylinder and inside your muffler. And once it's to that point, you'll have so much gas in there that you're not able to pull the pull rope out. And to find out if that is your issue of why you feel like it's locked up, pull your plug out and go to pull it. Now watch out because if it is the issue, it is going to shoot out like a geyser all over the place. If that is your problem though, I've already made a video on that. I will leave a link right up above. Now, the second reason that it could feel like it's locked up is because it actually is. You put the wrong fuel mixture in there, you didn't put enough oil, and you did burn your cylinder up, and it's not gonna move anymore. So the next thing to do to see if that is your issue is take this rewind off, and we're gonna see if we can move the flywheel and make sure that it's not the rewind, because sometimes when you go to start it, you might have just the rewind wore out on you and it messed up from something, but you could also let the pull rope shoot back in there on accident, like you didn't follow it down whenever it was going back in and it can get wrapped up in itself around that pulley and feel like it's locked up. So I am going to pull out my Owl Tools Torque Bit Set. This is T7 through T40. I'll leave a link in the description box below because it's cheap and it's good and I do recommend it. And we're gonna pull out the T27 because most all steel screws are the T27. And then next we're gonna remove the three bolts holding the rewind on. We've got one, two, three. Got the rewind off. <clears throat> but when we pull on it, it pulls fine. Looks good. It's definitely not the rewind. So this brings us to the real reason why this machine feels like it's locked up. Because while you're running this machine, if you use it a lot, the whole time you're using it, it's rattling apart on you. Let me bring you in and show you what's up. So with the rewind off, we can get to the flywheel. And while it's starting, it's turning this way and that's where it's stuck. It doesn't want to go that way, but was, what's odd is I can go back this way. What's up with that? Till I get to a certain point and then it locks up again. Go around here and it does the same thing, locks up. Now, could it be the coil? Well, no, it's not doing it where the magnets are. See, the magnets went straight by the coil just fine. So what is it? If it's not what's around the flywheel stopping it, it's what's behind the flywheel that's stopping it. Behind the flywheel, you've got these bolts down there. Now this one, even though it is slightly shaken out, it is not actually hitting the flywheel. It's on the other side. Go around to the muffler side and look back here and look at that thing. Look at how bad it's poking up. So if I go to turn this flywheel, that's where it's hitting it. So it goes all around, hits that screw again. We gotta remove the flywheel. 
So I'm using my impact with a 13 millimeter socket and you can put a piston stop in there, but I'm just gonna hold on to it. Now the problem is when you get to this point, the flywheel is still stuck on there with a the flywheel key and the crankshaft. So we're gonna have to do a little pounding. Okay, so this is how it's gonna go down when you're one person. I get a large flat head. I'm gonna stick it underneath the flywheel. Now I wish I could just pry it up, but it's not gonna happen. It's gonna go in the armpit. <laughs> I got my punch. I'm gonna go to the center of the crankshaft and I'm pushing down with my armpit as I'm pounding. This way, yeah. I got a better, a better feel in this way. <laughs> All right. It's not so easy when you're one person. So. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. That's the way you do it. <laughs> Now we got our flywheel off. And let me bring you in and show you what's up. So as you can so as you can see here, this one is totally loose. This one is loose. This one is loose too. So we're gonna take all these out. I'm gonna clean this area up, throw some thread lock on them, put them back in. Okay, so I've got my holes and my screws cleaned up. I'm going to use some thread lock on them because we don't want these to ever come out again. Okay, so putting some hardcore thread lock on them. And this can happen actually on the other side too. So it's not just this side that I see the screws back out. It can happen behind your fan on the other side. So it's still something to check over there. Now, when you put your flywheel back on, there's a small keyway that you're gonna to wanna to make sure to line up with your crankshaft keyway. And once you put it together, it'll go down so much and then you're just gonna put your nut on and tighten it down and it'll tighten down like it should. Oh yeah, that's spinning nice. I think we fixed it. So I've let it sit for a while to make sure that thread lock seals up really well and now I'm going to start it up. that's a fix. So guys, thanks again for tuning in to Tricanic. Hopefully this video saves you time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found me on Facebook, find me at facebook.com slash Find me on Instagram at the real Tricanic or find me at Tricanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks guys and have a great day.